I almost forgot to ask you about one of the most exciting aspects of Ethereum. I mean, it's non-technical. I think it's a it's, it's a societal, it's social, which is uh, NFTs. So, uh, what do you think? Of, what do you think about the explosion of NFTs in the recent months, uh, especially in the art world and beyond? And what does the future look like? So this is maybe mm. the social impact on the world, mm -hmm. on on the individual creators of all kinds. Mm. Like, is that something you've actually expected to see NFTs having this kind of impact? And beyond, what do you think will happen in the uh, in the digital space with NFTs, in virtual reality, in gaming, all those kinds of things? I was definitely surprised by like NFTs in particular. Like I even actually I think might be on record somewhere on some tech conference panel. Like they were asking, you know, um it was one of those overrated or underrated sections and ask about NFTs and I thought hey, and I said like hey, I think NFTs are overrated. Yeah. And you know in retrospect that turned out to be quite wrong. Um I think like I guess I just personally can't really relate to this concept of like spending a lot of money on a thing and like there's nothing you know, there's no clear kind of understanding of why that thing would uh, maintain its value. Right. Um, Uniqueness of a thing having value. Right, exactly. Like, yeah. That's like, I definitely am like, cannot really understand, you know, the psychology behind like buying, you know, paying $200,000 for original art painting. I'd be like, you know, if I had a mansion, just like give me photocopies of everything. And you can hang three photocopies of uh, the, the, the Mona Lisa. Actually, why would I even have the Mona Lisa? I think I'd probably just like have some Nyan cats or something. That's one thing where mathematics or theoretical computer science cannot formalize why the heck NFTs are valuable exactly. at all. But the thing that I, you know, that it uh, makes me very happy about the space now that uh, it has happened is that I mean this gets back to the conversation that we had at the beginning right like I'm interested in this concept of decentralized uh, public goods funding right like I want things that are good and valuable to as much as possible also be things that can you know economically sustain the people who produce them right yeah. because if you don't have that then either the public goods just don't get produced at all or people make like centralized versions that have some of the properties and try to be substitutes but actually just like concentrate control in a very small group right um, and you know both of those things are not very nice uh, so the nice thing about NFTs would be, well, if you're an artist and you can you know, just mint NFTs and this is a source of revenue, then like, great, that's another stream of revenue for, you know, creative work that often does still get, get underfunded. And that's amazing. 